Hello and welcome to Scam Architect, where we review anything and everything in short informative videos. And in this episode, we talk about the Elitec temperature data logger, which is needed and used if you need to log temperature data. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, as I said in the start, we talk about the temperature data logger. What is a temperature data logger? Well, essentially it is a device which you turn on and it logs in a certain interval which you can define uh, the temperature in the room in the direct uh, vicinity of the data logger itself. Ideally, if you buy a data logger, you buy one from a company who has a certified calibration of the temperature so you actually get accurate readings. This is, for example, needed if you need to collect uh, temperatures for uh, finding faults or finding finding temperatures that get suddenly low. And a typical example for this would be, for example, if you have a, a display vitrine, a cooling vitrine, and you have that running during the day for the customers overnight to keep the ingredients cool. And sometimes you get ingredients or you get uh, products you display, like chocolate, for example, uh, getting worse or other things and you don't know where this comes from and this can come from for example sudden temperature changes and with this data logger you can actually monitor that so let's have a quick look onto the box it's a fairly simple small box Elitech the brand uh, RC5 plus PDF temperature data logger so that means it creates a, a PDF file which you can use it has a USB 2 port uh, has a PDF export is IP67 uh, rated so uh, you can have it in uh, in a freezer, a fridge or whatever if you want to monitor that. There's a serial number on there and uh, the address of the, of the company and that's basically all about the box. Let's open the box then. So and what we find in the box is these things we find here, a little manual which basically tells you how to turn it on, how to put it into, so enter it into your, into your laptop. Uh, they also provide a software on their website. I don't think the software is mentioned in here but they have on the website a software which you can use uh, to set certain uh, settings. Then we have here a certificate of calibration. That is a certificate for this device specifically, so it needs to match the serial number. As we can see here, this is only the styrofoam. This is the device itself and on the back we can see here the serial, no serial number matches the serial number uh, on the certificate of calibration. That means every the device they, they basically send or ship out uh, is validated and it has a certificate that it was calibrated, which is important because that guarantees that you get accurate data. So these two things are included in the box. And then we have the data logger itself. When it comes newly, I have used this already, so I can show you the PDF later on in the video. But if this comes new, then here the battery, there's a little plastic inside, so the battery does not get drained. Uh, you need to open that with a coin Remove the, remove the plastic and close it again, so it's functioning. On this side we don't have much, we have a little display, it says data logger, RC5 Plus, uh, the brand name and we have a, a start button and we have a pause button and a little display which shows you if it's on or off. And when we remove that cap here, then we have here a USB which we can directly connect uh, onto the computer and then when you connect it onto the computer, you don't need to necessarily use the software. You can just, when you had turn it on and you turn it off and then you connect it to the computer, uh, it will open as a, as a data drive and you can export the PDF file. But it is recommended uh, to download the software from the website. You can uh, set up certain settings like in which interval it uh, basically records. You can do that with the buttons as well. It is described uh, in, the, in the manual here how you do that but it is way easier to do it with the software. So uh, I definitely would recommend going on the website, which you, when you buy this, have in the manual. And then, and here's also for the first time user, please remove the battery cover and pull what I just explained you. You need to open that. So that's basically everything what, what, what you have with this device. Uh, it's a fairly simple device to use, to turn it on. So it starts recording. You just press the button a couple seconds and we will see the display turns on and now we have here the play button that means it is already recording 
and currently it measures here 26.4 uh, degree. That's actually not the temperature here in the room, but because I have it in my hand, uh, it obviously measures this temperature. And if you click the button again shortly, then it will uh, turn on the display and you can read it. Uh, I have it set to record every five minutes for the purpose I needed it. Uh, the purpose I needed it was, uh, as we have COVID now, our kids have to go to school and uh, my daughter complained very often that it's very cold in the school. So I purchased this one and wanted actually to see how cold it really is in the classroom. And it turned out uh, because the windows been open and the heating been turned off, it was 14 degrees in the classroom, which is not only ridiculous, it's, only, it's also against the law. So uh, in order to prove that and reach out to the principal to force them to uh, do something, uh, I purchased this data logger. It's another reason where you can use that, for example. Or if you want to, for example, uh, verify if a temperature sensor you are using somewhere in a device is working accurately, you can put that beside it and you will get accurate data. And uh, this data logger is definitely more accurate than normal sensors which, which are built in, in cameras or in, in cooling vitrines or anything else. Uh, and as I said, you see here it's now 27.8 degree. And when you want to stop it, you just press and hold the stop button. And then it says stop and it will stop recording. Okay, so this is basically everything I can tell you about the device. As I explained before, it is very simple to use. It is very small. Uh, it's very affordable with 25 pounds. And it is certified, which is an important factor. And I definitely can recommend it. It fulfilled the purpose I wanted it to use for. Uh, and if you have a purpose of needing to lock temperature data in certain intervals, then I can definitely recommend this product to you. It worked so far flawless and very accurately and I'm very happy with it. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you in my next one.